So often we hear gold prospectors and geologists talk about how gold is deposited into rivers and streams through the processes of erosion. And we know how that works. Rain, like we have lots of today, lands on the ground. And when it does that, it has a mild abrasive effect. So it seeps into cracks and crevices, and when it gets really cold over winter times, it breaks apart the mountain because of expansion. Over a really long time, that expansion forms cracks in the host bedrock, whatever that may be in your area, and it starts doing this, creating sheets of rock that slump off the mountainside. This is a prime example. You belong with me. You can clearly see the host bedrock that's unaffected, and then we've got the float rock, which has been broken apart by the ice and rain over a really long period of time. As it travels down the mountain, it gets smaller. You can see it starts breaking apart further. This is because it tumbles and is washed down by rain in big landslides. And the further down the mountain you go, the smaller those pieces are gonna get. Rock like granite is made up of multiple different things like feldspar, and in this region, tin. And whilst I might sound like a news anchor, what happens is on a very small level, those rocks break down to their constituents. You can see pieces of quartz and pieces of feldspar here. That's where we get sand, and it's through this process that gold's released. You can see another prime example here of a piece of float rock shearing off the face and slowly traveling in its way downhill. Part of that erosion in terms of gold is in quartz veins. Quartz veins are incursions of silicon dioxide that come to the surface through tectonic plate movement or volcanoes. And this is where your gold is usually hosted in gold bearing regions. And you can see that we have a vein here that is breaking away from its host section, which is in this rock here. And so that is basically how erosion works. Now you have a better visual understanding of how gold makes it into a river.